With this ship, the Koto, this will complete any model collection for the Expanse from Edel Moss. For me personally, I still need the Razorback, but that will be coming pretty soon. So this is the unreleased Koto from the Expanse. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, another Expanse model from Edel Moss Hero Collector sold to us from MasterReplicas.com. This time it's the Koto, this is the last one they released. In order, they released the Rossinante, the Razorback, and they did the Rossinante XL, which is nice. That's in order, I think they did the Rossinante, then they did the XL. And then they did the um, Razorback, but I missed the Razorback when it first came out. I've already done the UN1, which was issue three, and this is issue four. And then, yeah, we've already done the XL. The XL, Rossinante is absolutely amazing. There was meant to be, and there was talk about another ship in the line. It's a Mars, Mars ship from the Free Navy. Yeah, the, uh, what is it, Marco Free, what? What? Mokinaro's Free Navy. Oh, now it dawns on me which ship this is. That was the Mars one. It might still be anyway, I don't know. Well, yeah, I have watched Expanse, trust me, I have watched it and it's not fully sunk in, so I need another rerun. There was meant to be Epstein's yacht coming out as issue five, but it never made to production. A lot of ships we are kind of getting the idea of, especially all the Eagle Moss stuff, is especially, I say, if I've seen a production model with the white background that's been released and there's a stand on it, nine out of 10 times that has been released. Fortunately, this was released and this was done, but no magazine. So that, that's a shame, but we'll go straight to the the good part, really, get to the ship. So, for bingo players, here we go. Here we have the Koto 2073A slash E. Cool. So never really any low numbers for me. So I do like the Rossinante. It's a very industrial sized ship. This is, looks very kind of similar, but not. I mean, the big guns on the side are exactly the same. So it's going to be that way around. With the guns, rail guns are they? Yes. Sensor pods on the, well, sensors on the front. It reminds me very much like the front of Babylon 5, but that's just by the by. Triangular design instead of a big, nice, it is more triangular, but more like it's a flatter on top of the Rossinante, and it comes, curves down the back, but then there's this big, huge bell housing of an engine on the back. Really, really nice. M-O-R-N. Marco Naras. Okay. So that's that out of the way. Cool. Right, so let's get you a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Why is it say? Okay. Scipio Africanus. Okay, I've never really noticed that before. Well, that's the first time I've opened it. 276, I don't know if that's the fleet number. Probably the name of the... Why is it called the um, the Koto then? It must have been renamed for Marco Naros. If you've seen this, the series, you will understand what I mean. Actually, I think it might be that way around. It comes toward you. Hmm. So let's get in and get some detail on this before I carry on waffling. Oh, there's a lot of... Yeah. I think that's probably in Belter talk, to be honest. Please comment below. Don't ever go me. I have seen Expanse. I know how it ends. Oh, no, it should be carried on, to be honest, but never mind. Yeah, that bell house on the back is just stupidly large for an engine. But that's all they did with the engine on this. You kind of use nowadays technology to explain how we could do asteroid mining or colony work in our own solar system in, I said, the 100 years, but nowadays tech. So one engine, not like a it could turn engine, you just one boost away, and then you'd flip the entire ship to go the other way. So, yeah, it did work. You wouldn't have gravity to pull you down with anything like that. Lovely colour on it, black and gold bits of silver and stuff. Really nice. 
It even looks like if this was a bigger ship, like especially like something from you know, Babylon 5 or something, that would be the docking port. I'm sure it looks very much like one of the um, ships from Babylon 5. At least the front parts, anyway. One of the Earth, Earth Defense ships. Really a really, really nice ship. I mean, well worth a, a buy on this to get this one. Like I said, I'm still missing the Razorback to finish the entire collection. I'm three ships missing at present. Probably when this gets watched by probably the person who's watching this. And it would be... I've probably got all the entire collection. If not, I might be one missing. We'll see what happens with the sales on Master Replicas. And I can't plug them enough, to be honest, because they've been absolutely brilliant. Yes, a little bit on delays on shipping stuff out but they do warn us on some of them that they won't be shipped out straight away because of things which is fine we'll get it eventually got his orders in everything's fine she's a nice size ship as well nice quite um bigger than my hand so a nice mid well, a bit bigger than a mid ship mid size ship oh. nice to see Really, really nice to see. So the big hatch on the bottom there would probably be for docking. Maybe, maybe that part will come out and you dock alongside it. I could really have done with the magazine, which is a shame on, on the last lot of these anyway, we're having zero, if not less than magazines. <clears throat> we're just lucky to got right parts on these and, and all being produced and done. And again, it's a really nice thing to see. I actually completed a lot of this model collection from Edel Moss. Again, not many to do, so we'll be fine. Be absolutely fine. This will go lovely in, in the... Um, yeah, if, if you know me quite well by now, you'll know that I, um, yeah, store these in the loft. So we'll come out one day. I'd like to store them in here, to be honest, but unfortunately, there's too many of them. Way too many with the Eagle Moss collection. The Star Trek alone, there were one eight in the first run and another 30 odd on bonuses and about the same amount in specials and XLs and shuttle packs and all oh, sorts. Then they come out with these and, and yeah, I'd love to get the Stargate ones and love to get the, the any and everything. Got the Space 1999. There's too many models for one company to have made, but we almost managed to get most of them done and here is one that was unreleased so great for the manufacturers that they made these and hopefully they got paid out for doing this yeah cool very very cool indeed actually to be honest i wonder if that one is a shuttle uh, a, a docking bay or if it's another rail gun that comes out because potentially no they look rectangle anyway could be another gun that comes off it anyway not just a rail gun no Cool. I would say it's definitely a docking port, to be honest. So, cool. Very nice ship indeed. So, the Koto. I want to say USS Koto. I want to fall for that one. It's not, because that's Star Trek. So, there we go. That's the, um, yeah, the Koto model for the um, Mor Moragan class destroyer. Okay. Cool. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, follow me on social media, consider a being a patron to help me out, all the links in the description below, consider a, just give you a pile full of toys or whatever else, you've got something that you want to just, just throw away, just give it a shout, and um, be a nice donation video in it for you. So, with that in mind, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.